Hi, everybody, and welcome to UCSB. I am Raphael Clement, an assistant professor in the materials department since, since 2018. Uh, so as you can see here, this is a picture of my group taken about a year ago. And since then, we've grown a little bit with Ashley, who's a first year graduate student, and Olivia, another first year graduate student. And we've also welcomed a postdoc, Oscar, who's not pictured here. Uh, so our research in general focuses on understanding the working principles and failure modes of functional materials with a particular emphasis on battery materials. We have uh, some ongoing projects on photoluminescent materials, on quantum materials, and high-performance alloys too. Um, and so on the left here, you've got a picture of the lab, uh, and I will take you on a virtual tour of the lab in next. The common denominator in all of our research projects is the pursuit of an atomic level understanding of structural processes, electronic processes, and even spin processes. And so for this, we use a number of advanced techniques, both uh, experimental and theoretical or computational. Uh, we specialize in the use of solid state magnetic resonance spectroscopy, um, and in particular, nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy, NMR, and electron paramagnetic resonance, EPR spectroscopy. And so in our little logo here, you've got a, an NMR spectrometer, um, but we also use a number of operando or in situ probes uh, to be able to study battery processes in real time. So this is one of the operando probes that we've developed in the group, uh, which allows us to measure EPR spectra in real time as the, the battery is being charged and discharged. Uh, so just to give you an idea of uh, what happens in the, in the NMR facility here, so this is a, a little video of the group running some solid state NMR experiments, uh, which was taken about a, a year ago. So as you can see, these are different group members uh, running some experiments. Uh, at this point, the spectroscopy facility is open at uh, a limited capacity. Um, so I'm now going to give you a virtual tour of the lab. Uh, in general, in our lab, we do everything from the synthesis of new inorganic materials for battery applications or for other applications. Uh, we also do battery testing and in-depth structural characterization. So here we are entering the lab. As you can see here, this is, a, is one of the, the planetary bull mill that we use for the synthesis of metastable compounds, such as solid electrolytes or electrodes. We also have a couple of furnaces in the lab. This is the um, medium temperature furnace. Uh, and because a lot of the materials that we synthesize and process uh, are air sensitive or moisture sensitive, we have, uh, we have to handle these materials in a glove box uh, to prevent air or moisture contamination. So just going back to that glove box now, uh, as you can see, uh, if you look in that glove box, you'll see that we are well equipped to prepare both coin cells and swage lock cells for battery testing. Um, and we have a number of battery cyclers in the lab uh, as shown here. So this is, is an Arbin instrument um, battery cycler, which allows us to automatically charge and discharge electrochemical cells uh, to measure their performance. So finally, in the corner of this lab here, uh, we have uh, a variable temperature impedance setup and a high temperature furnace for ceramic synthesis of our materials. So this is giving you a good idea of what happens in our lab. 